What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Scale News Update. If you're not familiar with the show, this is where we talk about the news topics that happened in the scale world of RC over the past week. If you enjoy the Scale News Update, hit the like button. Let's jump into this week's topics. First for this week, ProBoat released one six scale jet stream boats partnered with Blake Wilkie. They released these two options that you can get. There's a black, uh, the X comp style, the one that you have probably most seen Blake Wilkie uh, ride within the the mini jet boat you know videos that he done kind of like the urban assault videos and then they also did an orange version with the mojo 2 on the side but these are 24 inches long they have an actual uh, like reverse bucket on them rather than just reversing the impeller so it should be fairly effective or actually like a jet boat it may function as a brake as well I imagine that it does, but the detail that they put into these is what's truly impressive. There's been jet boats before, Pro Boat has done jet boats specifically, but these have the proper proportions of the mini jet boats that uh, you know you see all over YouTube if you're you know into that type of content, but they put on the windshield, it's got a rear light bar, it even has the rear speaker pods. Uh, I don't believe that those are actually functional, but just completing the details on this, they went above and beyond and whole, I'm blown away at how good these things look. The driver figure in there modeled after Blake Wilkie, all around, they just really sold this package. I'm super impressed and really tempted to get one. Boats are not something that I am typically like, going for something really has to grab my attention but this one this feels like it's just one of those things you've got to have but if you have to pick black or orange i feel like the orange is going to win this one right this time orange has to win <laughs> pre-orders are currently open for those boats if you're interested in jumping in line for one i'll put a link in the description below where you can go pick one up Next, Scale Garage Systems released another new rack. This one is for the Boom Racing BRX02 with the Series 3 Land Rover. And they had put in their little blurb about this that the typical racks that you find on these vehicles aren't very interesting or good looking. So they had to kind of elaborate on what they thought would be the ultimate style. And they did a fantastic job really making a Land Rover look good. Hard to do but they killed it on this one. It looks so nice and their product photography always blows me away. Both the detail that they put into the build and just the scene that they use for them. These are amazing. If you've got a BRX02 or you know picked up that Series 3 body for something else specifically, check out Scale Garage Systems. They have a ton of awesome racks no matter what bodies you're looking at. Worth, worth a look on their website. I'll put a link to the website below. You can go check out everything they've got. It looks like J Concepts has got a cab only version of the Power Master, or at least it is coming soon. I noticed it is available currently on the A Main website, but I'm not seeing it populated on J Concepts or any of the other websites. So I'm not sure if it was just put up a little early over there or if it just hasn't all got rolled out all at once. The photo on the A Main website is the original Power Master photo, but with like the bed grayed out. So it doesn't look like it's an actual photo of the cab only version, just a, maybe a placeholder or maybe what they're going to use. Not hundred percent sure. The Power Master body from J Concepts is very much, very close to the exact same as the you know, design and proportions of the Proline Power Wagon. So much so that I've got like the 3D printed cage and interior for the Power Wagon and it works just fine in the Power Master. So still an interesting name, I, a bold choice. But the cab only style, something that we've obviously seen a lot. J Concepts pricing, much more competitive than the others generally as well. So can't imagine that these won't find their way onto a number of rigs. Right now, they're available on A Main. I assume that they'll be available elsewhere soon. Or maybe they won't be available on A Main soon. I don't know. Check it out. We'll see how things shake out next week. CEN surprised us with the release of not a bro dozer. This time it was a Ford and Red Bull partnered WRC 1.8 scale rally car. And they did a fantastic job on this thing. It looks amazing, the, the body, the details. It's got hard molded detail parts on it, including like the rear vent openings, the you know, wing mirrors, the rear tail, the chassis on it looks nice. It's made of a full tub chassis. It's got a bunch of details put into it. I got one of these early and did a video review on it, going through and 
noting a lot of the little things like the, the aerodynamics that look like were put into it for airflow through the chassis, especially if you're running you know, a protector on the top to try and keep debris out of it. Now it is labeled a 1 8 scale, but it's really more like a 1 10 scale underneath. The electronics are 1 10 scale. It's just got the proportions and length wheelbase of an 8 scale. Very similar in wheelbase and size to the HPI WR8. Price on this, especially for something that's Red Bull Ford WRC licensed, is not bad. So if you're interested in a rally car, glad to see CEN reaching at something else other than just the big lifted bro dozers, but I like those as well. Speaking of big lifted trucks, Traxxas lifted their littlest truck. The TRX4M is getting the high trail treatment. This time, Chevy K10 body sits on top of it. Lifted up suspension and larger tires compared to the standard TRX4Ms, but still getting a hard body. So that K10 body that sits on top is a molded hard body that looks fantastic. Seeing all of the hard body options that are coming in the 118th and 124 scale is super impressive. And I think that, you know, Traxxas does a great job with their Lexan bodies, but they did an even better job with the injection molded one. Matt did a review on the red version of the high trail and the body is not painted, it's molded in red. So kind of to be expected, but doesn't exactly have that same, you know, like opaque look that you maybe would sometimes look for in these bodies, especially just with the light coming through the glass and things like that. But on a 118 scale, especially in this price range, the lifted look with the larger tires, something that's obviously going to appeal to many buyers. Not only is this little truck lifted up, it's also got a longer wheelbase. It's got the clipless body system in the you know very Traxxas way so that things sit nice and secure. So if you're interested in picking up a little high trail, I believe that you can get these direct from Traxxas and I'll put a link to their webpage below. Right before I filmed last week, there was a teaser from Team Associated with what looked like a Datsun pickup. And it turns out it was a Datsun pickup on the Apex 2 chassis, just as I imagined from the teaser. They kind of left it all out there to be seen in their teaser. So not a ton of surprise by the time it came out. It comes in this desert tan cover and it's got some big like over fender style, you know, decals that go onto Lexan to give it the styling of this on-road street machine pickup truck. Apex 2 chassis that sits underneath is just like we've seen on all the other versions with the different bodies before. So it's just a, a brushed system with a tub chassis, pretty budget oriented as far as you know, parts and things that you're gonna find underneath. Nothing all that wild or impressive, but just a nice base for those bodies to set on. These appear to show a pre-order at most of the dealers and distributors. So if you're looking to pick one up and you wanna be first in line, jump in on that pre-order. Fair RC is doing what they do best, and that's dress up some FMS trucks. The small scale FJ and Land Rover both get the rusty paint treatment. So you can pick up either of these in their pre patinaed condition here. 200 and 250 bucks respectively for these two. I'm not gonna include them on the RTR count because it's just some paint on top of the other one. It's not even like a different color. It's just some paint on top of the other ones. So. I don't figure we have to count these as new RTRs. I did count the jet boat, but you know, we gotta draw a line somewhere on this. If you wanna pick up these, you don't wanna patina one of them yourself, and you're okay with paying 50 bucks or so for that service to be done for you, I'll put a link to where you can get those from Fair RC. New this week from RC4 Wheel Drive was the DXR2 Hydraulic Dearth, Dearth? Earth Dozer, whatever. Same, same, same. Don't know why I feel like I want one of these dozers so badly. You would think an excavator would be the obvious one that everyone would want, but nope, I want a dozer for some reason. And this one in white is my, fa the, my favorite one I've seen so far. This is not actually a new item. The white version is. The white with the red ripper in the back is new. Previously, this was available in just the standard you know, Caterpillar yellow, but this white, oh, this, the construction equipment is so tempting, but at the same time, it hasn't been $2,400 tempting, especially with all like the special wire transfer and special freight and all that kind of stuff. It's kept me from even considering, but one day, one day I'm gonna find a deal. This one I had to cover just because it's the E-Flight SR71 Blackbird. 
we don't cover planes on here very often. I think the only one that I ever covered before was the Draco and the SR-71. It's just the SR-71. Like, if you have any appreciation of planes, you likely appreciate the hell out of this one as well. This is a twin ducted fan. I don't own planes. It looks like it would likely be very difficult to fly, but who am I to say anything about it other than it looks amazing and it's less than 300 bucks. This Wednesday, Matt will be back and live stream takeover will be at the same time as always, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Coming up on 180 weeks in a row without missing that show. Consistency, it's such a good show. Come join us live chat or after the fact, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. And then Friday Night Live is questionable. It's tentative whether or not I'll be capable enough to come in here and sit in this chair for the duration of that show. If it happens and you'd like to experience the pain along with me, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern on that one as well. Last week we talked about what would your ideal job in the RC industry be if you also had to move to wherever that job was from, no working from home. And it turns out a lot of people would like to be my boss and tell me what to do all day, which I could understand, but I'm also a huge pain in the ass to deal with. So there's that. For this week though, it's RC Shark Tank. You get your chance to come propose the product that you think is gonna make it huge in the RC industry. What is it? Give us your proposal for what you want to have made in the RC industry. As always, I appreciate you guys for coming and watching the Scale News Update every Tuesday. Hit the like button if you enjoy the show, subscribe if you're not already, and hit the notification bell so you see the videos as soon as they get uploaded. As always, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.